Okay, question 16. So determine the equation of the tangent to this function at the point of inflection 1, 6. So if it's a point of inflection, then that means that the second derivative is equal to 0. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first and second derivative of this function. So y dash is going to be equal to 3x squared plus 2ax plus b. Y double dash is going to be equal to 6x plus 2a. Now, we can find the point of inflection. It's going to be, so, yeah, first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that it's a point of inflection. We're going to use our second derivative and that it should be equal to zero. So if it's equal to zero and then this is where it is, then that should be our x coordinate meaning that now I can just rearrange this to find out what a is. So minus 6 is equal to 2a, so then a is equal to minus 3. Okay, so we found out what a is. Now, if it is a point of inflection, what else does that tell us? If I substitute back in, a is negative 3, y is 1, Sorry, x is 1, y is 6. I should be left with b only. So that will allow me to solve for that second part. So now I'm going to let a equal negative 3, let x equal 1, and y equal 6. So that's going back into fx, our regular equation. So 6 equals 1 cubed is 1 plus negative 3 times 1 makes 1. plus b plus 1. So it's going to be 6. Now I can group up all my like terms on this side. So it'll be negative 1 is plus b. Take this over that side. So then b equals 7. Okay, so I've now determined what this equation is. So now for I can say y equals x cubed plus well, minus 3 x squared plus 7x plus 1. But it's asking me to determine the equation of the tangent to that function. So now if I calculate y dash, that's going to give me 3x squared minus 6x plus 7. And I want to find the gradient when x is equal to 1. So y dash is equal to 3 minus 6 plus 7 which is going to give me 4. So gradient equals, okay, and so I've got the gradient is equal to 4. I've got a coordinate. That's everything I need to have to solve for C. So now equation of the tangent. So y equals, so that's 6, equals the gradient times x plus c, take it across, c is equal to 2. Last thing I've got to do is state the equation of the tangent. So therefore, equation of the tangent is y equals 4x plus 2, and we're done.